word in your mouth. And as he called Jeremiah, he's calling you to speak his word. As an evangelist, you will speak and people will hear and they'll say, wow, I need to come out to church. I need to be transformed. And I see you as a, a star. And I see that wherever you come in the room, you just brought it all up. Yeah. But there's some weight that needs to go. Because in knowing you, there are great privileges of knowing you. That when people meet you, they see that, wow, I'm privileged to be in your presence. Amen. But it's time to buckle down now and say, God, I'm doing all these things. Choose which one. Which one shall I do? <coughs> which one do you want me to put first? Because there's some that are for now, and there's some that he's working on the inside for later. And I see a group of people that are going to come to help you. And you are the cheerleader. You are the leader. And they will be cheering you on Amen. as you cheer them on. Get ready, the Lord says. Get ready because you are ripe. You are overdue in this season. Get ready. You are a soldier. You are a leader. And you will do great exploits. God is going to bring you before great men and great women that will help you along the way. Do not worry about the money. You know it will come. So I thank you for coming today. And I see another woman of God in the back. And the Lord says, no more tears. You have dried them up a little bit, but there's still a little bit more to go. He's well pleased with you. He's well pleased with your courage. He's pleased with the things that you have embraced that he's given you in your heart. He's been speaking to you. You have dreams and you have visions of leading a multitude of people and you're saying, God, when, how can I get this done? How can I do this? What I'm just fighting is like a war is coming up against you. But the Lord said that you have backup. I have sent you help. Help is on the way, mighty woman of warrior. Because you will preach my word. You will spread the gospel. And you are chosen to set the captives free. Can I just give you a hug? Can I just salute you, woman of God? Can you just step to the front? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I was brought up in a place where there was many crime. And as people look at me, they think that I was just created. They think that I was just created. And they don't understand that people have to go through some things. And sometimes you see evangelists and pastors preach and you said, well, I want to be like that. I would like to do that someday. But in that comes a lot of yes. trials and obstacles and yes. a lot of crying at night. Yes. Yes. And so last month we was September and as most of you know, it was a month of giving birth. And this woman of God has been going through so much. But the Lord says to tell you that it's not over until it's not over. Until God said it's over, it ain't over. Until God said it's done. Oh, no, 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 no. It ain't over. Until God says it's over, keep fighting until your victory is won. So I grew up in places where there was crime. My brother can tell you. People were getting shot. There were prostitutes. There were criminals all over. But I give God thanks because I grew up in a Christian home. Thank you, Jesus. But 
I saw all the things that were done and I give God thanks now because I'm a little bit older and wiser now and God has used me to go into the prisons and to speak to people that are abused. And so as you're going through these trials, I just want to know that God is preparing you. He's preparing you for ministry. Because you are a woman of God that you look at everyone and you don't look down at anyone. You see them as equal. So you are going to go out in the highways and the byways. I see you talking to someone in a wheelchair. I see you giving them money. You love to give. You have a pure heart. And God is going to use you. Mm 